Hi everyone, it's me, Miss Callie, or Joseph Crupper. You can call me whatever you want. Um, I, this is a this is an interesting month for me because we are not going to be doing a reading time outfit. Instead, we are going to be doing a recreation of a uh, a couple of outfits from a very famous children's cartoon for a uh, adult drag show. So most of the time you see me do outfits for reading time, but this month for reading time, I'm doing a, I just bought, I literally bought an outfit online. <laughs> I am dressing up like Ellie Sattler from Jurassic Park for our dinosaur park reading time. And that's, that's what I'm doing. I have the outfit, it's all done. Um, I just need to iron it and put it on. It should be good. Then for that evening, this is what happens. I end up getting in situations where I have two gigs on the same day. I have a reading time and then I have a thing very late in the evening. So I'm doing literally a reading time at 1230 in the afternoon and then a gig for adults at midnight. So really just spacing them out there. The gig I'm doing is called Divas After Dark. And so it's gonna be me, um, Nikki Nagahide, who's my sister, and also Lexi Nagahide, who is also my sister. We're gonna be doing a number that is Powerpuff Girls inspired. I'm gonna be doing Bang Bang. And so my job is to create three matching outfits, okay? The three of us are different sizes. Um, so that, that will be a nice time. What I am needing to accomplish is three identical dresses. They're not all going to be very difficult, but because there's three of them, I have a little bit of work ahead of me. We went to the Joanne together and got these three uh, materials. <laughs> we went to the Joanne together and got these three materials. So these are, I've, I've made stuff out of this material before, but it's, it's, it's pretty sheer, um, but, but nice, um, kind of a little bit stretchy, uh, sparkle material. It wasn't that expensive. I think it was like $10 a yard. We got it a coupon. Um, and then there's a green one and then there is a pink one. And so I need to make three, um, outfits and the outfits are going to be, like I said, not very complicated. They're going to look like this. This is a McCall's M8065. I got size LXL XXL. Um, so that should be interesting. I'm gonna make each of those sizes, see what happens. And then, yeah, so I'm gonna make th this one that's on the model. Um, there's no zipper and nothing, but there is a little bit of interlining. So I'm just using this extra fabric I have laying around so I can put that on the outside because this fabric on the outside is not very comfortable. So if I use this for the lining fabric, it would be not fun because um, that would be on your skin directly and that's, that's bad. The inside of this is pretty okay on my skin, but I'm just gonna use this other stuff for the inside. And then if you have seen the Powerpuff Girls, you'll know that there is a bow just kind of at the mid, 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 I guess your waist. So I got some uh, black cotton that I'm gonna make three super big bows out of and some elastic that we'll use to tighten it around. And that's, that's the plan, that's the gig. So I just wanted to let you know what's going on. It's gonna be a very special episode. I'm making three outfits for three different people and so you're gonna to get to see them together. It's gonna be great. But I have less than two weeks to get this done and I really need to get it done. So we, and I have, I don't have a weekend to get this done. I have to do it all during the week and then I'm traveling and then I have to do it during the next week. So let's see how much we can get done today. Tonight, it should be fun. Maybe I can get all the cutting done. We'll see what happens. Okay, literally the the piece, <laughs> this is the front piece. It's literally this. This is the front piece, it's it, that's it. It looks big, but this is the extra large.
already. And these are the little facing pieces. So they go around just the neck and arm holes essentially. And yeah, that keeps the keeps the, the neck and arm holes looking nice. It's great. It's a wonderful time. Why am I bending over like that? Is that is that entertaining to you? Do you like me just like bending over and giving like a little tiny update? Just being like And anyways, I don't know. Yeah, so these are the pieces and it's gonna be great. It's gonna be cute, it's gonna be fun. And I'm gonna probably cut them another time because I'm tired and I still need to make some avocado sauce tonight. I have very important things to do. <sighs> Hi, I'm only wearing dungarees. Ah, um, yeah, anyways. Oh, maybe I should turn on a light. Haha, -ha. is that better? I, um, yeah, it's the next day and I have some time to cut out some fabric, so that is what I'm going to do. My goal is to cut the fabric out and have the fabric cut out. And then if we sew anything, that's up to the fates. And actually probably I need to not sew too much because I need to see if these fit the people that I'm going to be putting them on. So usually when you see me do projects, I'm putting stuff on, putting tickets about, putting stuff on, you know. And I'm not saying that my stuff has good fit anyways, but not having the people that they're gonna be worn on around can be a problem uh, because I would like to make sure that they fit. And yeah, so if I, I'm gonna at least, let's, let's just focus on the task at hand and get these cut. So that's what you're gonna see. You can see here on the edge of the fabric that there is not a complete set of sequins. And I really do think that that's because this is meant for an accent fabric. This dress, and you might be able to see this later, is really quite sheer. I know I already mentioned it, but it does show through when there's light in front of, behind it, whatever. And so I'm kind of just sacrificing the shoulder piece, which I know is not gonna be seen very much on that corner. Besides, this is supposed to be um, cut this way. Um, you can see that there's a line right in the middle of the pattern, but it doesn't go up and down like you think it would. It goes right diagonally through the center. So anyways. Okay, as you see, I've tried this on and, oh look, there's my Jurassic Park outfit. Okay, sorry. Um, I've tried this on and it's just, it's literally a bag on me and there's still, so I still need to finish the edge and stuff. It's hard making the same dress for three different people because everyone is a different body shape. And like, you know, sometimes dresses that look good on one person don't look good on the other person. And sometimes you just gotta get the right proportions and everybody, you know, like this is an XXL, but, it could look great on one person and not look great on another person who's an XXL. <sighs> Hard, okay, anyway, so that's what I'm thinking. I'm gonna just cut the rest of the pieces and see what happens.
Good afternoon. It is the next day. I'm taking my glasses off. I apologize. This is the thing. I think since February, I've been in a state of having no eyebrows, and I think that's just who I am now. I am sorry. <laughs> who am I impressing except for myself? Who am, I, who am I meant to dress up for except for me? Okay, anyways. It's the next day. I am wearing my Spike Naga High t-shirt. My hair is up and I'm ready to sew. And I have right here, uh, this is the fabric for the uh, dress that I will be wearing. I cut out the little pieces last night for the neck and arm um, lining. So I'm my goal is to make one complete one and I'm doing mine first as like a test. That way I'm hoping that will help me understand how it works so that when I'm fitting it to other people and myself, mind you, um, it works. This is, I don't know why I'm stressing so much over this. This is a bag dress, but I do want it to like, not be so much of a bag on my sister. So yeah, so yeah, that's what we're doing. We're sewing one of these completely up. Goodness. Okay, so this <laughs> this fabric, I've sewed with this fabric before. I know I have. I made a whole dress at the very beginning of the pandemic out of the green stuff. Um, I had I had some. I had bought it from like a bazaar. They had like a bunch of fabric there with my friend Al. Hi Al, if you're watching. And I forgot that when. It goes through the little sequins on here. It gets real tacky on the on my needle. So my needle's all like sticky and stuff. It's really annoying. Uh, but I got through hemming everything. The lining on this is kind of weird. I didn't press it, so that's my fault. So let me see if I can press this lining and make it pretty. I literally, you should press things. I know that. I know this, but um, I'm I was I'm being lazy. I'm I'm in the process of continually being lazy. But anyways, here's the dress. Woo! Let's press it. Here is the dress on the dress form. Look at her. So it's kind of chunky around here. Um, I did my best to iron this down, but I'm probably gonna have to do another little bit of iron down. What you should do is, um, you should <laughs> like sew, there's basically a way that you can like tack um, this lining piece down to the seam allowance here so that it stays better down and stuff. But I didn't do that because again, I'm lazy and I, I don't know. I don't have a good excuse, um, but yeah, I got this all done. It's pretty, it's nice. I have the bottom, cute. And yeah, I just need to do that to that one and to this one. Um, and then also make a belt and a bow. 
and then we should be nice and good. But I'm gonna do some fitting tomorrow with Lexi and Nikki. It'll be great. Okay, see ya, bye. Hello! Hi, um, okay, so it is that I, it's the next day. I am going over to Nikki's so we can practice a little bit. Hopefully I'll be able to film a little bit while I'm there because I'm going to have these queens try on the outfits. Right now what I'm doing is just sewing the belt part for myself so I know how that fits, so I know what I need to do. And then, yeah, I'll measure out how much I need to do for the other ones when I'm with them there. So let me, watch me sew this one belt. Hello, it is, woo, it's, a, it's a little bit later um, than I thought it was gonna be next time I saw you. So essentially, let me update you on where I am right now. Um, so as I have said, these dresses were supposed to be for a show that was two weekends ago. Um, no, three. Yeah, three weekends ago. And, um, no, two. I did not get to finish them. And I didn't need to because that show was canceled because of the coronavirus. The bar was not open, so we couldn't do the show. And yeah, that's, that's kind of, that's kind of where this project has been stalled. Now I, this is where I'm at. So I finished the blue one. I haven't done, I haven't finished the band and the bow for that one but the, the main part of the blue one, which is mine, is done. I went and had the green one fitted on Nikki and then ended up not finishing it because of aforementioned reasons. And I also have not, I've cut out the pink one obviously, but it has not been fitted to um, Lexi yet at all. So I, but I'm in a situation where I don't have a project due for the next reading time, but I'll have a project due for the reading time after. And I really don't like this idea of sitting on stuff, having it be undone, especially since um, Nikki and Lexi did contribute costs to this project for us as a group. So I wanna make sure that I'm getting this done <laughs> as soon as possible. So I'm just gonna, with that, start on finishing the green one because I can, I can do that. And um, yeah, that's what you're gonna see now. Look at me doing a costume fitting. What? What? Is this is this a thing? You know, this is the same size that I use for me, and I feel like when it gets cinched in, yeah, it's gonna create kind of like a little ruffle here. Yeah, because my hips are right here. Yeah, that's gonna be good. I'm not worried about that because I was afraid it was gonna be like super wide here. Oh, okay, yes. When I put the lining in, which where is the lining? This is a lot tougher, oh, okay. so it'll like it'll make it more structured up here. Right. And then also, this is probably going to be higher, so it'll probably be really good looking. Makes sense. Hi. <laughs> this I this is going to be a weird vlog. because it's going to be like literally spanning from like August to I know whenever. I don't, I don't even know when. What did we have? Yeah, we actually. This has been in the works for a hot minute. Yeah, a couple oh, months. Oh gosh. <laughs> okay. I know, and it's Life such like happened. a simple dress. <laughs> Life happened. And now it's, here it is. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. 
it's several several months later i don't know if you can tell um i've, I've been selling in my in my uh basement now so that's a thing um yeah the last thing i got done so just for your timeline's sake was my salmon dress not my salmon trout dress and i haven't even put that video up at this point so choices it's finally the week that we're going to be able to do the powerpoint powerpoint the powerpoint stuff the powerpuff stuff and I haven't worked on it since I measured Lexi for anything. So I have the lining for the for Lexi's dress that I need to get sewed together. And now I have a serger so I can use a serger on her dress. The other two dresses aren't going to get that pleasure. Because uh, it's just the way it is. But yeah, I'm going to serge along. Well, maybe I could serge these ones. Better not. Once I have her dress done, I can start working on the bows. And then they'll be done. And then you'll have the grand reveal. So here we go. Hi. It's so weird because I started this pro I started this back in like August. Shit. It's May of the next year now. <laughs> COVID really messed us up. Okay, anyways. Um I'm realizing I still need to make these little bows. Um and I have all this black fabric and so I'm literally just folding it in threes and I'm gonna like cut off a piece and then make gigantic bows. All right, I literally, I don't know where else to film this. Hi, I'm on my stairs. I don't like to keep things on my stairs, but because there are a bunch of people over my house making craft kits, that's where it is right now. Anyways, hi, I finally got these done. There's me, Bubbles, um, the green one, and this is Lexi's. I know my character's name. I didn't watch the show when I was young. Okay, sorry. I just added myself as, uh, as a fake person. Anyways, so I have all these identical dresses done and pretty soon you're gonna see them on the bodies of my sisters. Hopefully I remember to film this part. <laughs> Here we go. Woo!
Where's Bubbles? She's probably upstairs combing her hair so she'll be the prettiest girl at the party! <laughs>